Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to explain the interview question, how to read and verify, how to read and verify the text that is getting displayed on a tooltip using Selenium WebDriver, right? So guys, uh, let me show you an example for this, okay? First of all, uh, you need to understand what exactly a tooltip is. After that, I'll explain the answer for that particular question. So browse to this application, scroll down. Here you are seeing a link, guys, right? So if I move my mouse cursor over this link, I'm getting a kind of small text. You can see that, right? This is nothing but a tooltip, guys. It has some text on it, right? The tooltip that is getting displayed in a square box, rectangle box, has some text inside it, right? That is nothing but free Selenium tutorials text. If I move my mouse away from this text, away from this element, the tooltip is getting disappeared. Again, when I move my mouse on this element, again, I'm getting the tooltip with the same text. Now, as per this particular question, they're asking how to read this kind of text, okay? How to read the text that is getting displayed on the, inside this rectangle tooltip box. And then verify whether that is the exact text that is getting, that should be displayed on the, as part of the tooltip, right? This is a question. Now you understood what exactly a tooltip is. So for this guys, there is a very simple answer. Okay, it's a very two step process. One is like you need to know which command in Selenium WebDriver you have to use for retrieving the text on the tooltip. That is nothing but get attribute command guys. Okay, you have to use a get attribute command for retrieving the text on the tooltip. Along with that, which attribute you have to retrieve. Using this command, you can retrieve the values of the different attributes that are stored in the HTML tags, right? So you already know about this get attribute, but which attribute you have to choose as part of reading the text on the tooltip, retrieving the text on the tooltip, which attribute, okay? You need to retrieve with the help of this get attribute command of Selenium WebDriver. That attribute is none other than title attribute guys, okay? You have to choose title attribute. So why I'm saying this? Get attribute and title attribute, okay? Using get attribute command, you have to retrieve the title attribute of that particular element for which the tooltip is getting displayed. For example here, this is the element guys. This is the element for which the tooltip is getting displayed. So if I inspect this element, if I inspect this element, this particular element's HTML code has a title attribute, okay? So this title attribute has a some value. This is nothing but, when I hover the mouse on this element, you see the same text, right? It's matching. The value of the title attribute is matching with the text that is getting displayed on the rectangle tool, tool tip box here, right? That means that I have to retrieve this value, guys, okay? After I retrieve the value, I can just use testNG or some other assertions to compare the actual tooltip that should be getting displayed and the expected tooltip that, that is getting displayed. Very simple, guys, okay? I can practically show you how to do this, okay? Now you understood the concept, right? So let me, let me retrieve the title attribute value of this particular element. How to do that? For that, I have to use get attribute command of Selenium WebDriver. First, I will inspect this. I have to locate this element case. Okay, I have to locate this element. So this element is a paragraph tag with title and then some text is there between this paragraph tags. Okay, I will copy this text and I will create an XPath for this. I will say double slash P. I'll create an XPath to locate that element. Okay, and just pasting the text, enter. You see, this text is getting highlighted. This element is getting highlighted now. I created an XPath, guys. So I will write the code here. Driver dot find element by dot XPath. Okay, you have to give that XPath. Now, my job is to, for this particular element, there is a tooltip getting displayed when, when I hover the mouse on this particular element. So I have to use which command, guys? Get attribute command. Okay, I have to use get attribute command. In this attribute command, which attribute value I have to retrieve, which attribute value I have to retrieve, I have to retrieve the value of the title attribute here. So here I will give title. Okay, here I will give title. So this will return a string. Okay, so to actual tooltip text is equal to, okay over the mouse and create local variable, string type. Now we can print this title, guys. Whatever the title that is, whatever the tooltip text that is getting retrieved from this particular element can be printed. Now, system.out.println will print it. Simply, you will print it. I simply say driver.pitch. Let me run this program to see whether it is retrieving this particular free Selenium tutorials 
tooltip text or not. It should be printed in my output guys now. Okay, you see in the output free selenium tutorials, the text that is exactly displayed on the tooltip is getting retrieved and printed in the output console. So in real time, what you will do, you will use some test engine assertions to compare the expected tooltip text with the actual tooltip text that is getting printed out in the console now. Okay, those two things you will compare. If they both are equal, then that's fine. If they both are not equal, then you will fail the test case. That's how you do in the real time, right? That's how you have to answer this question, guys. Okay, the state. The straightforward answer for this question is using get attribute text, get attribute command, you will retrieve the title attribute of that element for which the tooltip is getting displayed. That's it guys. Thank you. Bye.